Hey, it's me, Rishad. Today I am sharing you a really exciting Facebook 3D post tutorial. So we have to create a manual depth map for this through Photoshop. So let me explain what is depth map. So a depth map is a in images that store the distance means depth values. So actually it's a black and white images. So black means the far objects and white means the nearest object. So this is depth map. So in our case, we don't have any depth map for we use Photoshop to manually create depth map. So let us break down it here. We can see images. So actually we can see the depth. So at the end, there's a lot of building. So like this, this is the at the end sky, then building, then that lady, then wall. So this is the depth. So depth map is like this. So they have stored the values based on colors, the distance between the surfaces. So at the black is the distance surface, white is the closest surface. So this is the depth map. So in FP post, we have to create a depth map manually. First step, choose the right images. So you can use pexels.com for the images. So then import your photo into Photoshop. So after select the base your objects, you can use selection tool, magic band tool, or anything you can use. So then select and select and mask for the enhancement of your selection. So you can refine your edges. So after output to new layer with layer mask, then OK. So in here we can see that two layer, one is our object only, then other is the main image. So next start to create a depth map, uh, depth gate. So here is the starting. So we set the 100, the white value and 80 percentage of gray and 50 percentage of gray. Then here the 40, 15. So we can create a grid like this. It's easy our workflow so 160 25 80 60 25 15 so in here is a black means zero at the end so make it group control g then change the group name into gate so it's not necessary but it easy our work workflow so now we have to create a depth for this character so i think so create a new layer so control shift to alt n for the new layer and depth map you can use also the bottom key and change the layer name then click alt <laughs> click on here uh, sorry you can control click on that mask you can restore the selection then apply the in here we set the 80 percentage so we have to apply the 80 percentage of grass so change to the b so we can adjust the black and white ratio then percentage into 80 because our main object is 80 percentage we also set the grid then alt backspace if you are pressing control backspace it's the background color so you have to click alt backspace so apply the color then apply the depth map like other objects you can select the objects using pen tool then create a new layer then change into and apply in here is 60 so apply 60 percent of gray then alt to backspace if you get like this you have to in control z then go to select and inverse then apply the gray 60 percentage of gray then select next object then control shift control shift i invert the selection then apply the color that's only now perspective painting it's very important so in perspective it's not a flat it's not a solid color so we have to paint like uh, different different color because in here at the starting is white and at the center uh, is gray so it's very difficult to paint so we can use the gradient tool so here is the gradient tool then 
set the grade open turn on the grade and starting zero at the ending 15 so go to gradient and select this color and set the black point into 15 so at the end is 15 and starting is 100 then ok then click and drag so paint the gradient in the new layer based on that selection so you can adjust the gradient like this click and drag again 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 until the perfect so sky that my painting so create a new layer rename it to sky then same thing in here is 50 0 to uh, we can change into 30 like that then paint so at the bottom is black then top is gray so like this this is our depth map so we done our depth map so and now we can enhance our depth map like for this character is a sharp edges so we have to smoothen so select that main layer then apply the outer glow then you can change the blending mode into normal then change the color into that depth you can use the eyedropper and increase the opacity into 100 percentage then you can adjust the size okay increase little bit size so it's give us a little feather so same thing apply to the other objects change the color increase the uh, opacity and change the blending mode then adjust the so export for fp then after this go to file and first we have to upload we have to export to depth map so change the format into png then export all and renaming is a very important for example if you are choosing man so underscore depth because this is the depth map so and hide all layer hide all layer then our image send then file export then change the format into png and export in here our name is man so only the man so now we get two images so go to fp then here photo or video then choose both images then open so wait little second then it automatically creating a 3d photo done now you get the a nice perspective 3d images i will upload the advanced version of this facebook 3d images in next video so stay tuned thanks for watching my videos and support me in all ways and if you don't hit on the subscribe button please hit and don't forget to watch malayalam videos if you are a malu